Is it possible to make sensible use of the carbon dioxide emitted worldwide and ultimately use it as fuel? It is possible through the novel Cofenius process. In the first step, the methane is put into a CH4 converter and broken down into carbon and hydrogen by heat. In the second step, the still hot carbon is fed into a CO2 converter with carbon dioxide CO2. At high temperatures, the carbon reacts with the carbon dioxide to form carbon monoxide. In the last step, the carbon monoxide is placed in a CO2 converter, a Fischer-Tropsch system, and combined with hydrogen. This so-called syngas can be converted via a catalytic process into synthetic fuel and water. None of this is a secret. The single sub-processes are all known at least theoretically, while the last step of the process has already been implemented on an industrial scale. So what is new about it? It's the combination. So far, nobody has combined the individual steps. This Cofenius is working intensively on the development of a complete plant to produce synthetic fuel in the relevant and required quantities. Cofenius is pursuing this major goal with tremendous commitment in order to create a serious alternative to pure fossil fuels like gasoline, diesel and kerosene without oil. Another positive effect is that the anticipated production cost of the fuel is significantly lower than using conventional methods. But ultimately, this new technology will achieve one thing above all else man-made CO2 emissions will decrease a little more with each new plant.